Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of the HANA hierarchical attribute based solution for flexible and scalable access control in cloud computing. Today, cloud computing technology has been emerged as one of the important technology in IT industry. Various cryptographic techniques have been used for the secure outsourcing of the cloud data. So, for example, an attribute based encryption has been used for the recent years. But in our proposed approach, hierarchical attribute set encryption has been used for the enhanced security techniques. And also in this technique, we used uh, bilinear mapping techniques to enhance the secure key exchange of the data. Next, we are going to see the project flow. In the HASP scheme, there is one uh, trusted authority, which is the root authority for all managing all the operations in the HASP scheme um, and there is on a domain authority which has two operations the managing managing and the authorization um, the authorization is nothing but the authoring the data consumer and the management is nothing but manage in the operations of a data owner and the responsibility of the data owner is to store the files in a secure manner using some um, predefined and also secure techno uh, techniques and also uh, he store the files in the form of bilinear mapping in the bilinear mapping process uh, two operation will be done the AND or XR, XR operation in which it is used to store the data in a tree, st tree structure and finally it is stored in a cloud then the function of the data consumer is to, to access the data from the cloud and it will be accessed through the secret key Next, we are going to see the project demo. So, he has to register in the cloud first. So, for example, he, he should register his name. Then, uh, he should be provided with some ID. Then, he should be submitted. So, he has been registered successfully. So, after uh, the registration, he should be logged in. password will be given then give access so if he is a valid user then it will be taken for the user registration so under the domain authority the user the uh, the user will be formed this is the we formed with the hierarchical level so there is one user so with the predefined ID this is the ID which will be given by the domain authority so he should be registered and after the registration he will be taken further he should be uh, given the correct ID and the name so after giving a name if it is a valid user means um, there are two modes of operation it will be here there is a data owners and the data owner. as I already told the data con owners is responsible for ma storing and managing all the data in the cloud and data consumer is is to retrieve the data from the cloud so uh, since it is a first time login for the user he is going to store the data so the data owners will going to store the data for example he is going to upload the any data he is going to upload so he can upload any file for example I am here uh, taking any word uh, text file okay so and here this is what we call the attributes this is what we call the attributes of a file so these attributes for example I am here used to the file name and size and uh, some parameters these parameters will be used for the key generation so here as per the algorithm of bilinear mapping there are two attributes will be displayed here that is the file name and the file and the file size in bytes so we according to the bilinear mapping algorithm so this attributes should be calculate in an AND operation and the master key is generated by the AND operation of the two attributes just give generate and after the master key is generated uh, in the secret key generation we have the two parameters called public key and the master key so public key we get from the binary format of the username and the master we get from the AND operation of the, the file attributes 
so by doing the or operation of the public key and master key the secret key will be the generator so this uh, secret key this secret key is responsible for the encryption and the decryption of the respective data so then uh, we just going to give the secret key here the, with the use, well, help of the secret key we are going to encrypt the data the respective data is ciphered then we are going to upload the data for the cloud storage we use a specialized tool called VMware which is used for storing the data so for that we have to initialize the form first before we are going to store the data we have to initialize the form and just click this process now after initialization just click the upload process so your file will be uploaded here so here the message will be decided that, that your file received in server side successfully so for uh, after the uh, store storage we need to retrieve the file so before the setting a file we just click this process so now after so the server is going to provide the data so for that we have we have to go for the user retrieve dot java so uh, in that form we just enter the file name of the respective file for example I have uploaded y.txt that file will be given and give ok and the, f the file path is y.txt then just give get file after the file received by the user successfully so he has to decrypt the file which is in an encrypted form so for that he go for the further process so here the final step of the user retrieval of the data which is retrieved from the cloud so here he has to give the correct secret key so for example I am entering the wrong secret key he should be validated so he shows the invalid secret key if you give the correct valid private key so here it is validated so valid secret key so after that your data will be decrypted and it will be shown so all through the process we have done the cryptography techniques with the help of bilinear mapping and the attribute based encryption successfully thank you for watching